welcome to the Amoretti Test Kitchen. Today, I'm going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions that we get. How to flavor chocolate with our extracts? And I'm going to introduce our extracts, the oil-soluble ones, which are lifesavers when it comes to flavoring any type of chocolate, be it white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, ruby chocolate, whatever. Let's start flavoring some chocolate. Our extracts are highly concentrated products which if you apply a little to whatever you're making it goes a long way and when you're flavoring something with a high fat content like chocolate it is always good to use extracts which has an oil base because this will prevent your chocolate from seizing up and that is exactly what you need to work with chocolate very easily it need to be really smooth and gentle and oil soluble extracts are the right solution for it and we have hundreds of flavors you should always go by the product use level mentioned on the label of each of our products and today i'm going to use some cappuccino tiramisu extract oil soluble in milk chocolate and see how we're going to flavor this the usage level of this product is one percent and for one cup of chocolate i need to only use maybe quarter to half a teaspoon of the product I, i'm going to microwave or heat this chocolate you can temper or melt the chocolate to the required uh, consistency that you're looking for for your purpose be it for making bonbons or ganache or maybe like truffles candy bars whichever you're looking for heat your chocolate to the desired temperature then add the extract i'm going to heat my chocolate and come right back I have some good quality uh, milk chocolate melted and in a good temperature so that I can pour it into a mold. And I'm going to add our cappuccino tiramisu extract. So if you're ever in doubt of how to use our product and the quantity that you want to use, there is a whole video that we have done and uh, it's up on the, our YouTube channel and I'm going to leave the link below on how to calculate the usage level of our products. Do look it up. So this one has a 1% usage level and I'm going to use quarter to half a teaspoon. Look at how smoothly it mixes in with the chocolate. It doesn't seize up and it blends perfectly well. This is exactly what you're looking for when you want to flavor your chocolate with any any flavor under the sun honestly because we have a lot of flavors and it works perfectly. The oil soluble ones work perfectly with chocolate and you can flavor your chocolate in any flavor imaginable. So I have a chocolate uh, candy mold here. I'm going to pour this milk chocolate in there and I'm going to show you how it is going to look when I have refrigerated it. So, there it goes. We're gonna make a candy bar. And how cool is that, that this candy bar is gonna be cappuccino tiramisu flavored and it is an amazing combination with chocolate. If you like mocha kind of flavors, this is the thing for you. Once you're good with it, Give the mold a good tap so that you fill in all the crevices and the chocolate seeps into all the nukes and crannies in there. So now that we're done with the milk chocolate, I'm going to show you a variation with white chocolate. So when it comes to white chocolate, you can also color it. And when you color chocolate, again, use an oil-based color instead of a gel or a water-based color because same reason chocolate seizes up when in contact with water so don't use anything other than an oil based for chocolate so the same reason we are using oil based extracts with chocolate i'm gonna do a fun uh tropical kind of bark now and i'm gonna flavor it passion fruit strawberry and cotton candy it's gonna be split like three colors three flavors in the same bar that's what we're gonna do so i have some white chocolate split into three balls and I have colored two of those so that you know the difference when I'm flavoring the same candy bar with three different flavors. I'm going to use passion fruit, strawberry and cotton candy and I'm going to start with our cotton candy. This is so popular. We have got rave reviews on this and everyone loves it. So I'm going to drop in the cotton candy first and almost quarter teaspoon and 
I'm gonna drop it into the one which doesn't have color. Next step, I'm gonna do the passion fruit. It's such an amazing tropical flavor and it's perfect for the summer. And I truly, truly love this one. It's kind of like a personal favorite for me. And I'm gonna drop in a quarter teaspoon of this. Oh my God, this really smells like you just plucked a passion fruit off its creeper because this is this smells so fresh and so good. All right, and the last one are one of our most sought after ones, strawberry. And I like flavoring my white chocolate with tart flavors, especially fruity, floral flavors sometimes, maybe spiced also sometimes because uh, the white chocolate is a little bit on the sweeter side and flavoring it with something tart or spiced is actually amazing. So I love that combo a lot. I'm gonna give all these a mix and this is exactly what we're looking for smooth mixing of the flavor and color because both are oil based we do have some oil based colors on our website if you guys are interested and this one i've kept it like the original color of the chocolate and that's a cotton candy one and finally here we have my favorite passion fruit i'm so excited for this candy bar because this is gonna look gorgeous and taste so amazing Making your own chocolate bars is an amazing idea for gifting during the holiday season or maybe if you're going for a children's birthday party, uh, you can gift it at the same time. You can use it as birthday favors and you know favors for any party and it's amazing. Then I'm gonna do some of the white. Oh my God, this is so much fun. And finally, the pink that's a strawberry the chocolate is always advised to work quickly if you're in a place where it has lower temperatures it can really start setting too soon give a good tap on the counter so that you get all the nooks and crannies filled with the chocolate and there's no air bubble I'm so excited to see how these are gonna turn out. So quickly, I'm gonna pop both my chocolate bars in the fridge and come right back and show you. All right, I have my set chocolate bars here and I'm so excited to try this. First of all, let's do the cappuccino tiramisu chocolate bar and it's gonna come right off the mold. Oh, look at that. <laughs> has these little coffee design on it and it's a perfect flavor and I cannot wait to take a bite of it but I'm gonna wait a minute and show you the other one too this is gonna be like a summer chocolate bar it's passion fruit strawberry and for a little you know something fun cotton candy look at that look at how cute this one turned out I am in love and I want to take a bite and I think I'll go for this one first. This is so good because you can really feel the strawberry and the tartness of the strawberry complements with the white chocolate. And I'm excited for this one too. It has a deep cappuccino flavor and you can get the hit of the tiramisu to this. So this is like a perfect combination with chocolate especially with dark and milk chocolate and i'm so much in love with how these turned out and all thanks to our oil soluble extracts you can now flavor your chocolates in any flavor imaginable our oil soluble extracts they're perfect for chocolate get creative make wonderful creations with them and leave reviews on how you like our products on our social media channels at Amoretti on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and TikTok. Also, if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, and comment. Hope you guys have a fun, fun day. Thank you.